Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we are checking out another casino that we have not ventured into. We are at the Santa Fe Station Casino here in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a little ways off the strip, um, but it's definitely going to be an interesting experience. I mean, some of their hotel rooms we checked before we went here go for like sixty to eighty a night, so it's definitely a cheap place to stay if you're coming to Las Vegas. So we wanted to check it out. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna go grab some breakfast, and we're gonna take you guys along. Come get lost with us. The Santa Fe Casino is located about 16 minutes from the Strip. Stations Casino purchased Santa Fe in 2000. If you're interested in bingo, they have a whole hall dedicated to the bingo! We've said our goodbyes. All right, so we made it into the casino and we are at the Brass Fork and we're gonna give you guys a little tour. So come check it out. Strawberry tall cakes with a side of bacon. And they're basically strawberry pancakes with some lemon and almonds on it and whipped cream. Sounds yummy. Alright, guys, so I got the lote grilled cheese, which, if you've ever had a lote corn, it's basically got the cachita cheese, it's got avocado, um, tahine, which is like a lime chili seasoning. Um, some sour cream. I mean, this thing looks amazing, and our waitress raved about it when I asked her what her opinion was. So hopefully, this thing lives up to its expectation. And then I also got like a side of fries and ranch, so we we'll see if their ranch is house made. It is. It is good. So that's a plus. So I'm not really sure how I eat this. I'm gonna eat it with a fork, I think, because there is a lot here. And this is the first time I've ever seen anything like this, so I'm really excited. So it's got corn, it's got the kajita cheese, like I said, it's got like a pea 
go. Let's go with the tahini seasoning. All right, I'm gonna shove this in. It's really good. The only thing I would change is that I wish my bread was a little bit crispier. It is a little bit softer, but the flavor profile is there. And it's very tasty, I have to say. It's pretty good. It's not quite a breakfast food, but um, it's really good. Try Macy's Elote grilled cheese. really creamy um, with the avocado and stuff gives it a nice little kick. This is really actually really good. Um, it's amazing. Honestly, I, I think this is really super tasty. I definitely recommend this uh, if you come out to Santa Fe Casino. So I got the strawberry snack. It's basically uh, strawberries. It's got some like jam on top of it, top of whipped cream, um, some, al some almonds. It looks really good. So let's give it a try. You can definitely taste in the pancakes, there's a little bit of cinnamon. It's kind of getting like a little bit of kick of cinnamon. The strawberries have a nice nice flavor. The nuts give it a little bit of crunchiness. And then of course the whipped cream with the the actual pieces of strawberry. I think it's an all altogether good. It kind of mixes that sweet and savory. Um, and it's really pretty good. Alright, so uh, Gary got the strawberry stack or strawberry cheesecake stack, but it's got some interesting toppings on it, so I'm going to give it a go. It's not too overwhelming on the strawberry. It's a nice little kick to it, and the pancakes are nice and buttery. It's looks pretty good. Definitely something I would probably come back and get. A couple of interesting facts about the Santa Fe Casino. They started construction in 1989, and it didn't actually open until February of 91. Um, in 1993 to 2000, there's a huge labor dispute that actually is the reason why Station Casino ended up buying Santa Fe Casino, because they could never settle that labor dispute. So let's head outside and talk about the review of the press form. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap up this video. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed the shots of the Santa Fe uh, Station Casino located off the strip in Las Vegas. Yeah, and our breakfast was interesting. Gary got the strawberry pancakes, which were good. Uh, they just could use definitely a little extra flavor of strawberry. Yeah, we went to some place called Short Stacks here, um, and it does like a does like it's kind of the same thing. But the actual pancakes had like the strawberry flavor. Here it was more like just regular pancakes with strawberries on top. It was good, especially if you like strawberries. But for me, I was just kind of expecting a little bit more strawberry on the the pancakes themselves. What about yours? Uh, I got the elote grilled cheese, which was really good. The only thing that I would critique it on was I wish my bread was a little crunchier or crispier. Um, it was a little bit more on the softer side, but the flavors were there. Um, it came with fries and I got ranch on the side and the ranch was definitely house made. And so that was really good. And I really liked mine. I thought uh, it definitely tasted really good. It's not like your typical breakfast food. It is on their main menu, but you can get anything on that menu 24 hours a day. Yeah. Have you ever stayed at the Santa Fe or recommend anything on their menus or, or even one of the dining restaurants? We're definitely going to come back here for the steakhouse. Yeah. What did you think about the hotel in general though? Um, it's definitely a little bit on the older side. There is a bit of a musty kind of smell to the air, but... Um, it was open in 1991, so yeah. it's pretty cool. So it's about 30 years old. Uh, I would say it's it's very, it seems very low key. Like it doesn't seem like they get a lot of foot traffic in here. Um, granted, it is a Monday morning for us, but traffic was pretty slow, um, even on the casino floor. And there was only a handful of people that were eating in the restaurant. Uh, I would say the the uh, casino for me, it's really cool. It's got a big bingo hall, so if you're into bingo, this is definitely a place you would want to check out. Um, so that was really nice. It's got a nice theater. It's got a nice bowling alley, so it's kind of that station casino sort of vibe to it. And like Nacy said, it's not very busy, 
but it does have kind of like a little bit of a must and cigarette smell on the inside just so you know I didn't see anybody smoking but yet it still smelled like somebody was smoking so I don't know it just kind of lingered so so uh, I would I think right now I prefer Red Rock as a station casino over this one if, if I was to choose but this one's a little bit closer to the strip so this might be your preference because it'll be a shorter drive to the strip out here and it's really cheap rooms yeah so uh, let us know in the comments below what you guys thought about what we ate and if you have any future suggestions for us and make sure you guys hit that subscribe button it helps us help you and we will see uh, ring that notification bell so you get notified when we do new videos this is the new year and we are definitely going to be putting out more videos about casinos and other things outside the strip in las vegas yeah so uh we will see you guys in the next adventure yeah see you guys in the next one bye